Hey, ain't no foreplay today, baby. I'm ready to get right into it, man. Let's go. Man, here we go. I told you, you're not welcome here. You're not welcome anywhere. Now Whoa. get the fuck out of my bar. Just give me one more drink and then I'll leave. Damn, Logan. Hi, Peanut. I'm gonna need you to come with me right now. Look, lady, I'm not interested. <laughs> not right, look, lady. Sort of on the tick tick, so upsy daisy. Here we go. Bruh. Oh, whiskey dick of the claws. It's quite common in Wolverines over 40. You don't want this. Yeah. Unless you want to take a deep breath through your fucking forehead, I suggest you reconsider. I love how it says smile for the smoke. Ow, the costume looks amazing. that I've ever cared about. Not my fucking problem. Is that what you said when your world went to shit? Oh, damn. Come Everybody on. did? This Wolverine let down his entire world. Shout out to Paradox, man. Oh, bro. <laughs> Want to talk about what's haunting you, or should we wait for a third act flashback? Uh, go fuck yourself. I love, I love the fourth of wild jokes, bro. Because that's literally what they do in every movie. I don't know anything about saving worlds. He got some golden guns? You. Oh, bro. Trust me, kid. I'm no hero. You were sleeveless. You were the X Men. You ain't lying. That made Wolverine the X Men. Soaking wet right now. At least in the movies. Okay. Let's go. Out of snow. What the? F Was that Cassandra? Bro, they wild for your song choice. <laughs> Oh my God, that is Cassandra. About. Was that Ant-Man school? Slow motion action sequence. Bro, dog cool. <laughs> Who knows if you live or die? Oh shit, let's go, bro. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Oh, oh my God. Wanna do some cocaine? Hey. The one thing that Feige said is off limits. What about the South of They know all the slang terms. They have a list. Even snowboarding? Even disco dust. <laughs> Girl interrupter? Even force bump. Do you want to build a snowman? Yes. I can't. Yes. I love everything about this already. Man, first things first, dog. Shout out to Leslie Uggum, just blind Al. Easily one of my favorite characters in the Deadpool movies, man. She just, she just doing her thing. She was in the final last series as well, so she just getting, she just getting all the checks. Like, bro, I have no idea where to even begin, man. But just off top, we did get like a better look at, cause you know, it's Cassandra Nova, who is basically Charles Xavier, the evil twin, who looks like most likely is gonna be the villain of this movie. Like I said, they didn't show too much, but bruh that shot of her coming out first of all they're using ant-man's whole body as a base it looks like bro like the whole ant-man school opened up and she just walked out now i don't know if that's a variant of scott could be hank you know we don't know but bro like just that scene alone and if you kind of look a little bit closely behind her that's a wheelchair back there. So I don't know if she killed Charles Xavier in like her time and just using it as a memento or what, but either way it go, I I like what I see so far. Just even her little comment about, you know, boys are gonna be silly. That's just a reference to how Wolverine and Deadpool are. And I'm nine times out of 10, I'm, I'm assuming they trying to like fight her and knowing it ain't gonna work. So it's more of a nuisance thing, but yo, I love what I see so far out of Cassandra Noble, man. Just, oh my God, I can't wait. And story-wise, considering this Logan, he said he's failed. The world is basically messed up and all the X-Men in his universe is dead. That scene, that shot of him of, at everybody's, you know what I'm saying, grave sites, yo, that, that is some, that's some dark shit. <laughs> But I'm also cool with that though, because you know, we are getting a whole new different X-Men and stuff like that. So that'll be a good way to kill them off. I mean, Scott been dead anyway, so. Ooh, will we see Scott die again, except in a different way? I'm not gonna lie, but that would be hilarious. He a G on X-Men 97 though, but in the Fox movies, just straight up trash though. And considering, I mean, I know all his friends is dead and all that, but considering how Wolverine is like taking it, I'm wondering 
if Cassandra maybe like mind controlled him in some way and forced him to kill the X Men, and that's kind of why you know saying he's taking it even harder than he was initially. But like I said, I don't even know. And it also would make sense considering that Deadpool is more immune to mind control, so it would also make sense that Paradox and the TVA is kind of using him to try to take Cassandra down. Even with like the little fight scene that they show between Cassandra and Logan, you know, I do like how it kind of it's kind of a little homage to his fight with Magneto in the first X Men movie where he was trying to swing at him on the train. He was basically just controlling him like. It was, like a little finger puppet and just, you know what I'm saying, throwing and moving around. So I do like that, man. It's just, yeah, I cannot wait to see how this turns out. Cause like Deadpool said to Logan, he was basically begging him to like teach him how to be a hero so he could save his friends. And he was the X-Men, you know, when you think about the X-Men movies, you obviously think about Wolverine. Like, side note, I love how X-Men 97 is not just focusing on him and letting everybody else get their shine. So kudos to y'all, that's fantastic, fantastic watching by the way but yeah man just i love the suit sleeveless logan is gonna be great i mean i'm pretty sure he is gonna put the you know put the put the hood on eventually we're gonna see the good old cat with him with the full suit on but honestly just the fact that we getting him in the yellow suit even when you think about the little <laughs> the little message that cyclops sent them in x-man what would you prefer yellow spandex When you think about then and now that we're actually getting Hugh Jackman inside of the Wolverine suit. Let's fucking go. Yeah, man, I just, I just can't wait. Now this movie's gonna be fantastic. It is the reason why this is the only MCU movie that's coming out this year. And Deadpool is definitely what is gonna be needed to reset the whole you, the MCU, dog. This is gonna be a banger. <laughs> that's really, that's, that's all I got. I can't even lie to you. It was hilarious watching them fight against each other. And I wonder how many times they're gonna fight. I'm, I'm pretty sure they probably at least a good three over under in the comment section. Do they fight three times in this movie? I mean, obviously the initial when he trying to drag him out the bar, I'm pretty sure they're gonna get to a little scuffle. And then, you know, them fighting from the 20th century fights. Yo, don't, he stabbed him in the bar. Oh my God, that hurt me. It, the fellas understand, bro. Like that's 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 that's, that's some wild shit. <laughs> but it is also just funny watching them fight against each other, considering that both of them do got you know healing factors and Deadpool sword is made out of adamantium. So, man, this movie is gonna be. They can literally fight each other forever. <laughs> and it, it oh, man, I just can't. I can't wait for this movie to come out. I know I keep saying that, but. I'm just so happy right there. We got a whole dog pool appearance, man. And and I, we got a Lady Deadpool, you know, reference as well. So I'm wondering what, how many different variants of Deadpool we'll see pop up in this movie, dog. I just, dog, and the look of disgust on Logan's face in the background is dog pool is licking me. Pool is just, oh man, it's just, was that Purple Smoke Alley out? I mean, I'm assuming it is because there's not too many things that look like that. But it would also make sense considering it looks more like Deadpool and Logan was trying to escape. So that's why they ended up jumping into the, the Doctor Strange looking for it, which would be hilarious if they was in Endgame all along. We just didn't know it until now. Or honestly, it would be even more hilarious if it was just Ned just practicing and then they end up going through one of his portals and then they end up in a Spider-Man movie somehow. I mean, I don't know. Like I said, the possibilities are endless messing around with this movie, though. But it is also interesting because Cassandra kind of said it's not going to work anyway. or It's not going to help you. So, hmm, maybe Wong was the one, you know what I'm saying, that opened up the portal for it. That's what I'm saying. Like, the cameos and the stuff that they've had hidden that we haven't seen or heard about yet... I feel like those are gonna be way more crazy than the stuff that they let off in this trailer. So yeah, man, I just give me this movie now. Don't I don't need no more trailers. I don't need no more teasers. I don't need anything else. They did a perfect job to me personally at showing you enough without showing you or spoiling everything. Especially these days, especially with a trailer being like two and a half minutes long, you know, you'll literally see the whole movie, but they did a great job of like not really showing you a lot. Like I'm 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 there day one, two, and three. I'm there the whole weekend to be honest with you. Then I watched the American Way. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna be going to go watch this for sure. Hmm, kind of going back to Alias though, because you know in the comics Nathaniel Richards ended up using him to end the well to help end the multiversal war. So I'm wondering 
especially considering Loki's new, you know, position in the MCU. I'm wondering if he's going to come back into play for Secret Wars. So that's going to be interesting to keep an eye on. So yeah, I definitely got my eye on that. But yeah, man, it, all the references, please leave those in the comments because it, it, it was it was so many. But I do love the fact that it was more than just MCU and Fox reps. You know, they had like some comic book stuff going on there as well. So yeah, man, I, I can't wait. Like I said, July, I'm there day one. Let me know in the comment section your thoughts on the Deadpool and Wolverine trailer, man. Like the video, share the video, and subscribe. And I do also love the fact, and it's very interesting too, that the director, Sean Levy, did come out and say that even though this is the third Deadpool movie, this is not officially Deadpool 3. So that kind of caught my attention as well. But if that's the case, and this is going to be more about, because this really felt more like a Wolverine trailer, so i'm guessing if, if this is gonna be that way you know kind of introducing everybody and stuff like that i can't wait man oh and i don't even know how i missed this but not only was they using ant-man's big ass body basically as a base some of the damn x-men is there too as well i mean we saw pyro in the in the other trailer told his back a is back <laughs> Calypso. We see Calypso. Oh my God, man. I just. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. This is, once again, the MCU has been in the phone. Me personally, I actually like the Marvel's movie, you know, despite, you know, social media opinion and all that from other people. But yeah, this is, this is going to be the kick in the nuts they need. You know what I'm saying? This is the maximum effort that we have been asking for basically since the end of Endgame. And if this is what the future is gonna be held, I can't wait, you know what I'm saying, for the next Captain America movie, you know, maybe then they'll address that big ass giant that just stand, you know, land in the middle of the earth. But yeah, man, like I said, dog, I appreciate y'all for watching this video. I'm probably finna watch this trailer like three more times, to be honest with you. So yeah, man, like always, man, your boy is out, man. They need to pull up a Timmy, like pull up in a Timmy Chunga truck. Ooh, what if they pull up into like a serious ass battle in a Timmy Chunga truck with like just all the variants of Deadpool? I would lose my shit. You know what? Yeah, let. I'm out of here.